Would you fuck a slime? I'd fuck a slime. Welcome to Slime Girls, choose your own adventure. Slime Girls is one of these things, one of these fetishes that I cannot explain myself. I mean, I get it. I, I get that I like tits, all right? Because, because when I was a baby, my mother gave me her tits. And that's why I subconsciously combine boobies with the liquid of life. All right? That sounded, that sounded by far more tragic than it should. But you get the point that I'm trying to make. Why the fuck do I want to put my dick in a piece of slime? I just want to do it. All right? I want to I wanna fuck a slime. I'd also fuck a manticore. And, you know, maybe a lamia. Ooh, ooh. How about an Aluraun? You know, you, you know Aluraun? From, from motherfucking Castlevania. I, I'm not sure if Alura, Alura Una are actually German mythology, I think, right? You know what they are? They're, 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 they're flowers with a naked chick inside of them. I'd fuck one of these. But most importantly, I would fuck a slime. Out of all monster girls, the slime is on number one. Then comes the manticore with the tail pussy. I want that fucking tail pussy. I just want to know how it feels. Alright? Now that we're done with the introduction, let's read. Greetings, I'm a primordial slime. A slime that has existed since the dawn of time. My goal, and the goal of others like me, is to further populate the world with lesser slimes. There doesn't appear to be even a single slime on your planet yet. I'll have a remedy that. And that is where you come in. I can separate a portion of myself and have it grow into a new, unique slime. If I do this, I shall name you my official ambassador. Your job will be to care for the new slime that is born from me as she grows up. Furthermore, you will need to medi mediate relations between humans and slimes. Alternatively, I can melt your body away into slime. I can, I've been told it isn't painful. You keep all your memories and everything but you will become a slime. If you choose this, you'll still have the ambassador duty of mediating human-slime relations on my behalf. There are some other decisions I'd like you to make, but the decision of whether or not to become a slime yourself is likely the most important, so let me fill you in on a few fundamental slime qualities. Slimes are immortal. There's no known way to kill them. Well, why not just cook them? Nah, yeah, seriously. You can you can you can cook them, and then they're dead. They're like steam in the air. I I don't think they were going to survive that. And if not, you know, a, a sponge. Just saying. Just saying. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be funny? This primordial slime is basically a fantasy boss enemy boss thing. Just throw a sponge in it and it's dead. Sorry, sorry. Slimes don't need to eat or drink. Slimes do, however, taste anything they touch or insert into themselves. Their sense of taste is such that nothing tastes bad, but everything is a varying degree of good. Slimes are typically pleasured by tasty items, moist environments, and being massaged. They are all non-sexual pleasures, of course. Slimes can sort of shapeshift, but default to feminine humanoid forms. Because of this, our kind are also often called slime girls. Slimes have poor moral skills. Simply gripping an item is simply enough. Is simple enough, but fine actions such as using a computer could require millions of years of training. Fortunately, a million years is just a drop in the bucket of the infinite lifespan. Of a slime. Now then, your decision if you'd please. Would you like to take care of my daughter, or would you rather forsaken your humanity to be my child? Slime waifu, sign me up! Make me a ooey gooey slimey slime. So, I don't even get paid to be your ambassador? No thanks. Keep your fifth slime to yourself. I'm out of here. I, I, I have for some friends that would totally take this decision. Because they're either gay 
or fucking faggot. There you have to know the difference, by the way. The difference between a faggot and a gay person. A gay person wants things in their ass. Alright? A faggot is a normie. Alright? As simple as that. Fuck normies. Now, now here's the thing. I don't want to be a girl. Alright? Now, the default would be a feminine humanoid. Do I have to take this default? <laughs> um, on the other hand, if I am a slime, I will never find out how it is to fuck a slime. G g you, you get my draft here, right? I, I, want, I want an ooey gooey slimy girlfriend. Yeah, I take the slime girl waifu. Sign me up. Now then, my powers allow me to grant various properties and talents to any new slime I produce. However, my skill is not perfect, so I can only apply 30 points worth of changes to your new slime. So like, oh you like, so long as you fit within the point budget. <laughs> Extra points at the end will be used to cut down on the time it takes for the slime to get used to their body and master their skills. A time is lowered by 10% per leftover points, maximum to 90%. Some options have minor versions that have a reduced cost, but partial are incomplete effects. Or incomplete effects. Alright. Oh, this one's kinda cute. Look at this one. It's adorable. Yummy. The slime is now edible. Without this option, slimes are mildly toxic when ingested. And delicious. Not only tasty. It is also extremely nutritious. Of course, slimes can't be harmed. So eating a piece of one merely tickles the slime. By consuming any matter, slime can replenish mass that has been eaten. If the slime becomes too small from being eaten, then it will become impossible to separate any more mass from it. Even at the smallest size, the slime is a, a bit too large to be swallowed whole. Even if one were, it would most likely just melt its way through the creature that ate it. Alright. So... I could like have a girlfriend that is also like ice cream. I take that. I, w I want an ice cream girlfriend. We are at 25. Wait, it wouldn't. It would be more like pudding. You know, pudding. I, I love me. I love me some Giga Putty. You know? You know, Giga Putty? It's gonna demo get demonetized anyway, so I don't even give a shit about the, the fucking copyright. Giga Pudi. Fucking Giga Pudi. I, I love this. I love this. Takaratomi. I love this so much. It's such an old meme, but I still love it. I take 20. <laughs> combat effective. Why, that, why does she need to be combat effective? Like, ooh. This guy's getting drowned in her legs. Poor guy. Let's keep the combat efficiency. I I don't want to anger my waifu, you know, and then, you know, drown in her boob. <clears throat> Cleaning agent. The slime now has expert control over what it dissolves. Slimes could already melt through anything, given enough time, and turn off their acidity to safely insert things into them. I know what you mean. <laughs> this ability, however, enables the slime to control which things it dissolves with perfect accuracy. One could eat all of the dirt and dust on the floor without remaining the floor in the slightest, damaging the floor in the slightest. The control is so fine that slime would be able to wash a person, making them cleaner than they have been without harming them at all. It could also eat away dead skin cells, leaving a person with like exceptionally smooth skin. I would be a I would be a fucking retard if I wouldn't take this one. Not only get I get to snuggle with my girlfriend, I also get clean. Adaptive. The slime now takes 
on some traits of the item it consumes. The potency of these traits increases the more of the items that are consumed. The slime can revert itself to normal by simply willing its body to revert. This allows a yummy slime to add flavors, making it even more delicious. This ability also allows the slime to change other traits, such as its color, viscosity, cohesiveness, adhesiveness, conductivity, and more. With practice, the slime can pick and choose traits from an eaten substance. It should be noted that using this ability to mass produce materials will only yield in diluted, low quality supplies. So basically, if if I would if if I if I would come into it too much, she would start tasting like my cum. But at the same time, she could revert at any point to normal. You know, meaning that she would taste like my favorite thing, which would be. Clementines, how are little Clementines? I love me some Clementines. So that's how it would taste. I, I, I want that. I, I want that. Give me that. I, 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 I want, I want, I want that. Uh, minus nine. We are at twelve. I think we're at twelve. Yeah, twelve. Slimes speak by vibrating their body in such a way as to emit word-like sounds. A slime, this special talent, however, has much wide range of sounds and can produce more than just speaking or singing. It can generate music, great sound effects, and dual impersonations. A slime of this ability can also vibrate in such a perfect way as a, to cancel out any sound it makes. It is allowed it to move completely silently, but it is tiring to maintain. A slime of this talent also has enhanced hearing. So... It's, it's, it's Miku! Oh my god, that's fucking slime Mi slime girl Miku! Jesus! The fuck? Great, um... Nah, I'm already famous with a fucking slime as a girlfriend. <laughs> Elemental, the slime is imbued with natural element. Whereas the adaptive ability grants physical properties, the elemental ability grants magical properties. Select one element, fire, lightning, wind, earth, ice, etc. Which is option with this option. The slime has an affinity to that element and can emit and control it. The control is fine enough that it, a lightning slime could power a computer and powerful enough that it, an ice slime could freeze an entire lake in moments. The slime will, however, become very fatigued when exposed in an element opposing the affinity. Water cannot be chosen as the element. Aww. What about darkness? Nah, I know darkness isn't an element. Um, eh, I don't see much use in this one right now. Primordial Princess. While it would be wrong to say this option makes slime a primordial slime like myself, since it won't retroactively make them exist from dawn of time, it will make them more similar to myself. That is, they will have the one ability that most sets apart from other slimes, the ability to turn other things into slimes. This ability can be used to grant them upgrades or improvements after creation. Of the options listed here, the slime can only grant those that I already has. <laughs> nah. On the other hand, that would mean that she could turn me into a slime. Nah, 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 nah. Slime supernova. All slimes created will share the drawbacks, pink, blah, blah, blah. It's also possible to become slime and care for a slime. Yeah, there we have it. There we have it. That's just what I said. This is... This is, this is not tempting, to be honest. <laughs> Again, I don't want to be a slime. Romantic, or maybe just lustful, the slime now acts as an aphrodisiac to creatures that touch it. This effect can be toggled on and off. Furthermore, the slime is skilled at moving its mass around in pleasuring ways. Why would I not take this one if this is the exact reason why I would even want one? We are at six. Aquarius. 
You can select water as your element with elemental and adaptive. It doesn't work on something as plain as water. Alright. Colorful! The slime now has a complete and total control over the color. Yes, adaptive could allow your color changing too, but this ability has other uses. For example, this guy can change the color instantly on the fly. Changes can be swift enough that the slime could use color to display changes in their emotion. If they choose. If they so choose. Hmm. Nah. Ten to... While all slimes can shapeshift, it is really not enough, not, not much more than the temporary stretching and twisting of their body. Why useful for disguises? Kind of. A slime can just grow 20 arms to help with whatever task it is at hand. The ability, however, allows the slime to extend the ferrisal limbs from any part of their mass. The number of tentacles that can be created and manipulated is limited only by the amount of mass put into each one. The tentacles are natural to move, and it's easy to manipulate all of them at once in different ways. With a bit of practice, shapes such as hands could be put on them. As a side effect, the slime also has much more fine manipulation over items inside it. Its ability also makes it easy for slimes to learn the fine motor skills required to use a computer. Mm. Scalable. Nah, 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 let's not, let's not make, nah, weaponized. <laughs> weaponized. <laughs> cohesive, cohesive, or minor cohesive. The thing about most times is that the stain, they stain everything. They leave trails and make a mess. It can be a hassle to clean up after. This option, however, will make the slime much more cohesive. They leave no longer to strain anything or leave trails. In fact, they can wear clothes with ease. Furthermore, this ability will boost the slime's ability to ma maintain a smooth, complete form. Without it, the slime's legs will often gravitate into a puddle. But with this ability, the slime can keep firmness and form in all parts of their body easily. The minor version of this option will make the slime no longer leave a trail or stain clothes. But will not boost the slime's ability to maintain a smooth, complete form. I take two. Four. Parti what? Partitionable. A slime of this ability will be able to split the body into multiple sentient parts. When made, these parts will necessarily be smaller than the original, but they can consume mass to grow back up to the slime's normal max size. If the slime is fused back together with a total mass greater than what a single slime can maintain, then the extra mass will become a puddle at the slime's feet. Of course, this won't happen if the slime has, is, has scalable. The parts will be able to sense the locations of the other and telepathically communicate with each other. They separate, they separate parts have a hive mind. That is, they are all the same being. It is this fact that makes this ability significantly different from primordial princes. Each slime part will be great at utilizing teamwork with the others. I, I kind of want this one. I, I I see my personal pleasure in it, but let's just keep reading. BFF, this option can only be taken if you have elected to become a slime. You and anyone else that has chosen this option and agrees to work with you will share your ambassador duties with each other as a slime council. So, so basically, if I would become a slime, I could basically say, hey, I, I, I want my best buddy to be a slime girl as well. Nah, 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 nah. That, uh, that would also be an asshole option. That would be so at war. That would be, so, um, that would be such an asshole option to take. <laughs> Subconscious, a slime with this option has several low level minds existing within them. These minds do not have feeling or free will. They're merely thinking entities with the same goal aiding the slime they're part of. Similar to our tentacles will allow the slime to conquer a variety of tasks on time. This ability will allow the slime to do various tasks on autopilot. The advantages to this over tentacles are that the slime doesn't have to actively try to accomplish the task. It could just be sleeping or something. The main disadvantage is that the number of subconscious minds are much more finite than the number of possible tentacles 
having both this and tentacle solver will allow the slime to do many different tasks at once with zero effort. Nah, empathetic. From a scientific standpoint, slimes are just big old blob of nervous system. This ability allows the slime to merge their nervous system with that of any creature they touch. This link is a bit peculiar though. It does not allow the slime to control the body of the target, but will link their minds. That is, the slime will be able to read the mind of anyone they touch. If they're touching another slime, then the mind reading will work both ways. In the case of humans and other such creatures, the slime will be able to read the person's thoughts, but the person will be ignorant of the slimes. Of course, mind reading is far less practical when it requires touch. But there's still some useful applications, such as communicating with paralyzed people or functioning as a lie detector. I don't want that. I want to lie to my girlfriend, but I require it. Ecosystem. Ugh, that looks kind of gross. <laughs> Although abilities like Aquarius, combat effective and adaptive, can be utilized to allow things to live within the slime, this option is focused on the avenue with this ability the slime interior becomes a safe and stable heaven how well nothing in or on the slime will be moved or bothered much by the slime's weight bending or movement especially useful for scrap scalable slimes second the slime becomes edible or by very bland even if the slime doesn't have yummy third the slime will have a lesser version of healthy of all less potent and doesn't include eternal youth. Less is a slime can originate themselves just like with combat effective. Does this mean she could like envelop me and I could live in that sounds gross. <laughs> in fact that sounds a lot like war which is even grosser. Magical. While slimes can accomplish a great many feats that seem magical, they are nothing like the witches and wizards of lore. No, 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 no. If, if there's some magic guy that can use magic, that should be me. F f no. Rich, even if it is through greed, this ability should help humans be more accepting of the slime. Specifically, this option allows the slime to basic alchemy miracles. Even more so specifically, it is only capable of producing precious metals from its mass. If nothing else, this will make it much easier for the slime to obtain the things they want from human society. Yes! We are at minus two. And finally, another option that I take. Auto-shaping! The slime now has subconscious thick sense of the shapes that will arouse those nearby. If a passively transform into the ideal form for those around, but these changes will still conform to the feminine humanoid default. Be wary as you never know when you walk past the deviant that will cause you to auto shape into an uber sexualized form. If I'm close, you know what happens. The sum also has all around improved shape shifting abilities, allowing it to reach more absurd and outlandish shape. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, 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 one of the things with slime. I want them to dribble. I want them. I want them to look like this. You know. This is hot, for some reason. I don't even know why. Healthy. Do you know the fountain of use was actually a slime? Take it. Take it. We are at minus twelve. Adopt. Plus 5 to 30. Any volunteers? If you have elected to become a slime, then this option gives you 5 points. If you have elected to care for a slime, then this option costs all 30 of your points. And you may not select any other slime customization options. If you've chosen to become a slime, then this option offers you up to offers you up to have another person care for you. You'll be relieved of what your ambassador duties. Meanwhile, if you elected to care for a slime and Take this option, then, ra then rather than picking the details of the slime, you merely choose from the people that have elected to become a slime themselves, and that are selected by this option, and take care of them instead. A slime that takes this option will not be allowed to select any companions, but a human taking this option will. Um, 
So... Basically, since this is a 4chan game, a guy who already took this, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm adoptive, so I, I, I'm, I'm uncreative, piece of shite. I just take you. <laughs> it's 4chan, guys, so calm down. Alright, I'm not going to take adopt, though. Nah. By applying some limitations to the slime or making their design more simple, I can put more de desirable features into them. Select as many of these simplifications as you like. Each one will reward additional points. Ooh, and apparently this... Right? Ah, fuck. Fuck you, paint. Fuck you, paint. <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, this is better. Fuck! One sec. One sec. Make it smaller this way. Alright. And now it should be all there. Wait. There we go. Alright, submissive. By removing a small fraction of the slime's independence, the slime creation process can be quite simplified. Losing independence sounds pretty severe, but a fraction, a fraction this small will merely make the slime more apt to listen to orders. Slimes are immortal, so there's no real danger here. Plus, you can look at it as the slime just being really nice. That sounds more like a bonus, right? But in all honesty... Losing the slight bit of independence will also make the slime a bit more clingy. Also, if you've elected to become the slime yourself, don't worry too much about these personality altering effects. They will merely tilt your existing personality, not override it. I I take it. That still sounds like a blessing. <laughs> this really sounds like a blessing. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Drained. The slime is less effective at suspending itself in above a hole than normal. There won't be any noticeable effects when on solid flat ground, although it, if the ground has poor traction and sufficient slant, then the slime will start slipping downwards. The main danger is that if the slime moves over a drain or a hole, they will almost definitely get stuck. Tight drains or grates might just get the slime caught in it, at which point they'll uh, probably need help to get out without just melting through it. The slime will sink down into larger, more open drains and get caught in the plumbing. With strength and effort, a slime afflicted with this flaw can try to slow the process by s of sinking. That would be actually kind of sad. Sleepy! Believe it or not, slimes are very sed sed sanitary creatures. Taking this option will turn the trade up to 11. The slime will sleep for at least 12 hours every day and will be pretty lazy most of the rest of the time. Even such lethargic slimes can, however, still move with the same vigor and speed as other others when sufficiently motivated it isn't as if i expect the slime i make be it you or a slime for you to take care of to be busily working or anything so this isn't really much of a problem i mean slimes don't age so sleeping a few hours more is no harm and slimes don't need food or shelter really so there's no need for one or have a job or work either you fool the slime's design is simplified by restricting their shape-shifting abilities the slime is stuck in the form of a young lass. Only a few minor deviations can be made from the childlike form, such as adding curves in the right places. Without being scalable, the slime will never be taller than four feet, and even then it would keep the same proportions. The slime will just naturally have trouble sustaining forms the more different they are from the ideal form of a young girl. So it's a lowly con. It's a lowly. Ooh, perpetual flavor. The slime design is simplified by restricting the adaptive ability. Yes, it's it's not it's 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 not just it's 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 you know why I I, I want to fuck that thing and I don't want it to taste like my cum. All right, as simple as that. So yes, that would actually be a positive thing. I I take it, and and I and I want I want her I want her to taste like. Uh, now that's an important question. How should she taste like? Like, uh, I do like Coke Sherry, but hmm, a drink I always return to. What is the drink I always return to? Iced tea. She tastes like peach iced tea. Yes, yes, yes. I can live with that. Unsettled. The slime's design is simplified by removing density regulations. The slime now has vastly varying density throughout it. 
Cohesive cannot be taken with this option. All right. Impaired manipulation. The slime's design is simplified by reducing their motor skills further. Nope. Scary. I feel so bad for slimes with this unfortunate trait. All slime and energy radiate a horrible aura of fear, causing all creatures around them to fear the slime. That's why I got through the effort of sealing that trait on all of the slimes I produce. But if you insist, I can remove the seal to simply be the slime's design. Doing this will cause the aura of fear to bother all those near the slime. The aura is mythical in nature. It can be felt through walls and affect individuals that weren't otherwise aware of the slime's presence. It won't put the slime in any danger or anything, but it will make it much harder for the slime to be accepted by humans. Because of that, I'm very reluctant to even be offering this. Ah. And it only gives four. Fuck off. S yes, I want that. I lied before. Romantic isn't needed for a slime to feel sexual pleasure. This works too. But doing it this way actually simplifies the slime's design. This option doesn't come with the effort to see power or sexual skill. It also isn't ad advised because it will force the slime's entire body to become sensitive to arousal. Oh, of course, areas the slime's beliefs to be the most sexual are more sensitive than other areas. But every inch of the slime's being will, <laughs> will bring its sexual pleasure when rubbed. The oozing across the ground will bring the slime a moderate level of pleasure. Even a cool breeze running over the slime's body will turn it on. Slime of this option will thus find it difficult to ever concentrate on anything other than sexual pleasure. Keep in mind that literally pushing away the slime's advances will only serve to arouse it more. This option also gives the slimes an intense lust for sexual fluids. I mean, I still gotta lose six points. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Please don't judge me. We are at minus one. Alright, minus one. I just wanna fuck that thing, alright? Um, we still have minus one, huh? Um, hmm. Oh, that's too deep, that's too deep. Uh, the slime's design is simplified by reducing your mono skills further. The slime will never be able to form hands. The slime also has tentacle. If the, the slime also has tentacle, then can still form the tentacle, but lose to find manipulative ability to gain the option. It isn't that bad though. Slimes can't, don't need fingers to grasp. The stickiness alone can handle that. It will however make using computers and other machines much more difficult. No amount of experience or training will ever enable the slime to form hands or obtain fine manipulative skills. Things like opening doors and moving furniture should be easy. Tasks like playing the piano or painting a picture will be near impossible. It is my hopes that this ability might at least make the slime a bit more dependent on humans and have from a cooperative relationship between our species. Uh, mm. Yeah, I take this one. We are plus six, actually. Nice! Alright. Be it by producing other slimes or calling a few contacts, I can bring in some other inhuman people for you to associate. If you have elected to become a slime, you have taken the adopt option, and then you may not select any of these. I do have to be on my way soon, so I only have time to hook you up with four companions. Of course, you're free to decline having any companions if you want. All I'm doing is setting up connections. You probably meet them a few times a month at first, but you can form close bonds with them in time. If you're a human ambassador, don't forget that your primary responsibility is slime designed in the last section. Adventure slime. The slime is a talented adventurer. She is skilled with the sword and make good use of the slime resilience. She will want to go a questioning with you, though you're a bit unsure where exactly she finds a quest in this day and age. Now, gamer slime! Master of fine manipulation! This slime is a huge fan of video games. She wants to play video games with you, but she's considerate enough to go easy on you if you can't keep up. If you choose to become a slime, there's no way you will keep up. <laughs> I want that. I want a gamer slime friend. Yes. Honey slime. As if you 
couldn't already tell the sweet slime is made of honey. The wings are just something she formed to pre for pre appearance. They can't be used to fly. This slime will find joy in cooking delicious, but always sugary and sweet meals for you. Let's keep on reading. We can get four. I have already have the gamers. So loot. Yes, I want the loot slime. I wanna. F I wanna fuck a slime. Now I can fuck too. Yes, loot slime. One of the slimes cursed with the sexual simplification, though she disagree that it is a curse. Since she's offering herself up as a gift, it is pretty clear what she wants to do with it. Yes, 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 yes. Gimme, 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 gimme. Aqua slime. The Aquarius slime goes with the flow, literally. Drifting down rivers, cleansing the water. It is prime pastime for the slime. The slime will want you to go swimming with her. She has scalable, so she can easily fill an entire lake or pool. I, I find this scalable thing so creepy, I'm not going to take it. No, no, this option, this scalable option, this, this... This just makes them creepy to me. I, I don't like it. Uh-uh. No way. This thing does not get on my planet. <laughs> Blue slime. This is an average slime. She has no special flavors or flaws, but this is a cute slime just the same. If I had to say what's special about her, I'd probably say her extemporary kindness is what sets her apart from the rest. She just want to hang out and whatever you want. So, yes. Yeah, I take it. Vanilla slime. The vanilla slime is a tasty treat. She she feels kind of like a yogurt or ice cream. Except not as cold. Unlike the honey slime that uses herself as a topping on her cooking, the vanilla slime prefers the tickling sensation of when you nibble at her. I... <laughs> <laughs> This is out of all of the Shoes Your Own Adventures, the first one that actually kind of turns me on. <laughs> Which is weird. <laughs> I I wanna. F <laughs> we have two, right? I w wait. We have, we have actually, we have wait. We have one, two. Th we have three. We have three. We can get one more. I I shouldn't. No 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 you no 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 way sexy slime not as desperate or lustful as the lewd slime the sexy slime just loves to show off her over the top figure she's a slight bit of a tease but you does have the romantic trait she wants you to spend hours complimenting her figure then you go as far as groping as you do. Aww. Come on. <laughs> Green slime. Another pretty basic slime. It wouldn't be fair if I only mentioned the special and unique slimes. That would leave out the more mundane ones. Besides, normal slimes are way more common than others. The green slime's most iconic trait is that she likes to spread across the entire floor of the room she's in. Oh, that's kind of cute. St strawberry pink slime. Again, sorry for showing off so many similar slimes, but I need to be fair to them. This one is strawberry flavored, but otherwise perfectly normal. She gets e embarrassed exceptionally easily, which is probably her most identifying trait. Maid slime, huh? The submissive slime has a thing for maid outfits. It's actually her defining feature. She likes to call her friends master and yes. Perhaps the submissive trait was taken a bit too far with this one. She'll do anything with you as long as she feels useful. I already have a slime. Why the fuck am I even choosing here? I already have a made slime. What? No, 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 no. Clumsy store. Oh, the slime special, but he's cleaning agent. We already have a cleaning agent one. I, I really, I really gotta save it. All right, all right, all right. We, we, we have to read. We have to read. We keep that in mind. If because I looked through this one, if there are any uh, non safe for work pictures, and while those pictures are quite appealing to me, YouTube will not pick them up. 
I hope. I'd rather someone of your position play with more slimes, but I can also hook you up with some other bizarre inhuman creatures that exist hidden on Earth. Sorry if I'm a bit of a selfish mother, but I'd rather... I'd rather play with my cute little daughters. So these other creatures will count as two companions each. Alright. Alright. Let's, uh... Clear slime. The clear slime can recolor, can recolor her body. She tries to become invisible as possible. When she really concentrates, she's incredibly hard to see. She gladly spy on people for you. Her favorite hobby is sneaking up on people and watching the shock on someone's face when they suddenly feel the stick, cool texture of slime out of nowhere. That's kind of hot. That's that's really kind of hot. But hmm. singer, the slime has a musical trait. She absolutely loves to sing. Her dream is to be the singer in a band. That's where you come in. Perhaps you could form a singing duo. Or maybe you'd rather play bass. Whatever your specialty. She'd like you to join a band with her. Yeah, that's a problem. I, I, I don't play music instruments. Clumsy slime. She's practiced with the power so much that she can perfectly clean nearly anything just by quickly dashing through it. For sure, she's a bit of a klutz. Her best intentions often end up making bigger mess, which she'll then proceed to clean. Sports slime. Using the weaponized trait, she shoots out a soft ball of slime. This has countless sport applications, such as... Honestly, let's just... She's hot. This one is... I'd fuck it. Dungeon guard slime. She lives in a dungeon and refuses to leave. She's fine if you visit, however. She apparently fights with the adventure slime on regular occasion. She doesn't care what you do with her, as long as you keep her company in the lonely dark dungeon where she guards the treasure. If I can take some of the treasure, I take it. Despite being hot lava, she can cool herself to a temperature of a nice hot bath. So she's safe to touch. The lava slime likes to cuddle and give hugs. Since she has cleaning ages, she can be used as bath water. More specifically, she likes to function as a living blanket. Yes! Yes! This! This is it! This! I want this! Yes! Alright! Alright! Oh, oh, Alrauna. I, I thought Arounds are... Okay, that's the one that I mean, Aluraun. Ah, Aluraun, I get it. Alura, I get it, okay. Anyways, this one... Is my second favorite monster girl. This one. I'd fuck it. Is what I want to say. Alright. What? Why can't I introduce you to any humans? But well, you were the first one I spoke to after all. Anyhow, remember that you have your job as an ambassador. Don't let all these friends distract you. Now that... Let us review. If you're a human ambassador, you have to take care of a slime. That's most important. Now I go off some universal ambassador duties. You're a symbol of human slime relationship. How you publish how how you publicly interact with the other species will be a guide for others. So so so, so basically, if I'm the ambassador, humans will see them as fetish objects, which they basically already are, except they don't exist. Ah, all right. Um, you are to promote human slime and slime slime peace. Keep it peace with slimes and any other creature pretty much. So, yeah, okay. If there's civil or criminal cases involving only slimes, you will have to be the judge. If you get to be too busy from this, you can hire subordinates. Yeah, I take it. I take it. I take it. So, that was the slime girl choose your own adventure. I hope you like it. And hopefully not as much as I did, because uh, then that would be kind of creepy. Um, so yeah, my name is Zutopi. Hope you liked it. Have a nice day. Goodbye.